there is a very low level awareness of the impact of air pollution on health. I get that he's trying to clean the air and, and, and I'm, I'm all for that, but it's going about the wrong way. Next week, London's ultra-low emission zone will be expanded. It charges £12.50 a day for vehicles that don't meet certain standards. It's been on the cards since November, but ever since it defined the Uxbridge by-election last month, the issue has been turbocharged, with these protesters out in Tooting in South London yesterday. Well, you know is everywhere for the wrong reasons. The political debate can sometimes miss out the reason why ULES exists. Rosamund Adu Kissy Deborah's daughter, Ella, suffered severe asthma attacks and died a decade ago at the age of nine. She was the first person to have air pollution listed as her cause of death. Yes, I have skin in the game because it's my daughter. And she died a horrible death, Kieran. I think um, Ellis Casey, Richard Herman, equates it similar to torture. That's how bad it was. You know, she drowned in her own mucus. So I really don't have time for the politics. Transport for London says that since ULES was introduced four years ago, harmful nitrogen oxide levels have fallen by 46% in central London and 21% in inner London. Critics argue other data suggests that the ULES expansion will only result in a minor reduction. Well, my response to them is some of the actions the, the mayor is doing now should have been done by the previous mayor. And who knows, Ella might still be here. Because when he initially extended it, 74,000 dirty vehicles were removed from the road. That's a lot. Plans for ULES were first announced by the previous mayor, Boris Johnson, in 2014 and first came into force in April 2019 in central London, the same area as the congestion charge. It was then expanded in October 2021 to include neighbourhoods inside the North and South Circular. But come Tuesday next week, it will expand to include all the London boroughs, making it the largest pollution charging zone in the world. And that means towns like Crayford and Bexley are now just inside that new zone. We are classed as Crayford Dark for Kent. We are a Kent area. Hannah Harrison has run this salon for 20 years and she fears she'll lose customers from outside the zone who now don't want to come in. They can't book their next appointment because they don't know if they can travel into Crayford or not. I've got a 90-year-old lady that lives in Crayford. She can't afford to get another car at her late stage in life. She's 90, so she can't then come in. And I just think, no, she, why should she go in and get a new car? Um, it's, it's just not fair. The customers affected are those with petrol cars from before 2006 and diesel cars from before 2015. TfL says that 90% of vehicles are compliant and people can apply for help. The scrappage scheme offers Londoners up to £2,000 to change cars. But that's only for those inside the zone. If you're travelling into London from outside, there's no such help. The, the scrappage scheme is so, is so minimal for a certain amount of people that bringing the scrappage scheme and, and making it bigger and, and expanding it out, then it would be much better because anybody that's travelling into Crayford aren't eligible for the scrappage scheme. Such is the anger in some of these ULES border towns that at the extreme end, vigilantes have taken to attacking and damaging ULES cameras. Rosamond understands people's reservations and does believe more help should be provided, such as investment in public transport. But for her, ULES is vital because public health is vital. I think Mayor Khan brought it to my attention and he said, your daughter will eventually end up saving millions. I think she would like that. And one thing I know, she, Ella was very kind, and I know she would never want anybody to go through uh, what she went through. While there's an agreement on both sides that the air we breathe has to improve, the debates around ULES itself won't evaporate next week. A divide seemingly as deep as north versus south and inner versus outer in the capital. <laughs>